for Off the Block. I'm Vane Lopes here. I'm now joined by Bart and men's volleyball head coach Jeff Lennox after his team got a big four-game victory against Mount Olive in the Conference Carolina semifinals. And, Coach, pretty good win against a good Conference Carolina team. How would you assess your team's play? Yeah, uh, first I just want to talk about Mount Olive. Um, you know, we've had a lot of battles with them in the past, especially this year. Uh, first match going to five at their place, second match going to four at our place. Um, so I wasn't surprised that it was, you know, going to be a, a pretty tough battle. And they just have such a good senior class um, that I have a ton of respect for and a ton of respect for their coach. And, you know, they showed up and they played really well and uh, made it super competitive. And uh, I thought they served and passed really well and they handled our serves really well and, they just made the game, uh, they made it fun, they made it competitive. And I thought our guys um, going to our team, they just handled that really well. I think they were excited to play high level. Uh, they were excited to be pushed. Um, you know, I think Mount Olive really came at us from the service line. Um, they served really well. I mean, they had eight service aces, only uh, 12 errors. So decent ratio there. And um, our guys just stuck with it. And especially after that second set when we were up early and, and kind of gave that away, didn't really phase us. So uh, overall, I thought our guys really competed well. Um, we just have a ton of respect for Mount Olive. So I, I think that showed tonight, and both teams showed up and, and played their best. Yeah, and Coach, throughout the season, you guys have been able to hit a really high offensive rate, and especially impressive since this you have a new setter this year compared to last year. Can you just talk a little bit about Oscar's plays this season and what he's meant to you guys? Yeah, Oscar, first of all, is just such a good guy, um, listens really well, works really hard, uh, just wants the team to do well, um, you know, just puts the team on his back and, and just asks whatever needs to be done to, to be successful and never complains. Um, him and I have a great relationship and, you know, whatever we want to accomplish um, in the offense, you know, he's all he's all for. So listens to the guys really well, takes feedback, takes criticism. Uh, and, and as a setter, I think that's super important. Um, and Oscar does all those things well. Physically, uh, I think that he, his location is great. His decision making, uh, was really on point tonight. The way that we got our middles going, especially in our transition game and, uh, the timing of setting them and he just picked the right spots and, and made the right calls. And, um, I was really, really pleased with that. And, um, you know, then spraying the ball and, and keeping our offense, um, unpredictable. I mean, he did a really excellent job. So really proud of him and, and how he stepped in. Uh, and, and just wants to serve his team and uh, and do the best that he can. Yeah, and I'm sure it also helps when he's saying some really good pin hitters that they have this year. <laughs> yeah, uh, it, I mean, even tonight it showed uh, Agalo struggled a little bit, um, 15 kills, 8 errors. Uh, but, you know, Alexa and Voss really stepped up like they have all year, uh, hit really efficient numbers uh, and, and really picked up Agalos. And, and Oscar was able to see that. You know, we still use. Uh, Agalos a good bit, but, you know, using our middles, using the Bic a little bit more, you know, he was able to notice those things. And, um, you know, our, our pin hitters are great, and, and Oscar uses them very effectively and uh, at the right time. All right. Now, Coach, I want to ask you about the upcoming championship match tom- tomorrow against King. But before you, I, I want to ask you, kind of looking back at the season, I got to see you in person at the start of the season in Nashville at the Grow the Game Challenge. How has your team changed and improved? since four months ago? Yeah, that's a really good question. Uh, we were we were thinking about this the other day um, and just kind of seeing our growth. And what we just talked about, it has a lot to do with Oscar. Um, you know, we were trying to figure out how fast we could play, uh, how consistent we could play that fast, uh, how well we were going to do with the BIC, you know, how much of the, our, our offense was that going to be. These things we had no idea in the beginning of the season and being able to play great competition um, at the, the Grow the Game Challenge, um, you know, playing Hawaii, uh, playing Lindenwood, that was a great experience for us. And then the following week, we went to BYU. So just having those matches uh, and that opportunity to see good competition uh, and figure out, okay, you know, what is the relationship between Oscar and our pins? How do we want to use them? How fast do we want to play those the situational volleyball with him? And, you know, that was something that we were, I thought, good with, but not great. And as the seasons progressed, um, that's really where we improved. And he's really on the same page with our pins. Uh, we're, we're still have a little bit of growth with our middles, which is great. Tonight was an awesome way to prove that, um, you know, that they can be very effective and efficient. Um, but yeah, that's the biggest thing I would say, just Oscar and, and getting used to our offense, getting used to the guys. Um, we've grown a ton since the you know, last time you saw us. All 
different. Now, looking at the championship match tomorrow night, you're playing King. Obviously, you played them a few weeks ago, lost to them. What's the biggest adjustment you're going to have to make from that late season loss of them to tomorrow? Yeah, they're just they're a really good team. They've always had been. Um, and, and just like I was saying with Mahalo, we have so much respect for their guys. It's another big senior group of starters uh, and their coach, Ryan Boomer, just a ton of respect for. So, uh, you know, we're going to need to play our best, absolutely, especially in their gym. Um, some adjustments we need to get, need to get used to is just the, the gym in general. Um, being here, we practice Thursday night and playing tonight. That was really helpful. Just the spacing of it, the depth is a little different than most gyms. And the height of the ceiling and the lighting and stuff is, is a little different. So I think our guys feel a lot more comfortable. Uh, we need to do a much better job at attacking against their block. They're a great blocking team. Um, they have two guys at the service line, Nick Croker and Jeff Sprayberry. They can really get going and keep you out of system. And then, that, again, that allows their block to be even better. So we need to do a really good job at receiving serve, first ball side out on those two guys, uh, adjust well on our high balls uh, in their block. Uh, and then we just gotta, we got to battle it out. I think it's going to be a battle. It's two great teams. Uh, that deserve to be in that match, um, and and I know that they're going to play well, and I know our guys are going to show up and play well, and um, may the best team win. Yeah. All right, Coach, and one final question, we'll let you go on this. Obviously, one went away from making back the NCAA tournament. What would back-to-back appearances in the NCAA tournament mean for you and for the program? Yeah, it's um, – yeah, I haven't really – I had tried not to think about this yet, and my wife was asking me this the other day, and I didn't really give her an answer. <laughs> Um, you know, because we just wanted to get to this point. So I might think about it a little bit tomorrow, but uh, I'm just excited for our guys and, and how much they've worked and um, the effort that they've put in and how much we've grown closer as a group and, and what that would mean for them. I think I've thought about that a little bit and, and how exciting it would be for them to, you know, come to King and, and win that championship and have that opportunity to go back to the NCAA tournament. So it's just a step in the right direction. You know, I think we've kept moving forward each year. I've been at Barton, um, and it's a testament to our guys that just stick with it and and, and keep uh, chugging along and do the right thing and work hard and um, they show up every day no matter what and put in their best effort. So just happy for them to be in this situation again, happy for them to have the success that they have and um, just excited to see what tomorrow brings.